Morning everybody, how are you doing? It's been a crazy week, isn't it? I spent half of my time on the phone, uh, the other half in virtual meetings or emails. Um, it is really, really interesting time. Welcome to my thought for the sixth Sunday of Lent, Palm Sunday, uh, Sunday the 5th of April. Uh, it's from Matthew 21 verses 1 to 11 and it's called the Royal Welcome. And read it from the message version. When they neared Jerusalem, having arrived at Bethpage on Mount Olives, Jesus sent two disciples with these instructions. Go over to the village across from you. You'll find a donkey tethered there, her coat with her. Untie her and bring them to me. If anyone asks what you're doing, say the master needs them. He will send them with you. This is the full story of what was sketched earlier by the prophet. Tell Zion's daughter, Look, your king's on his way, poised and ready, mounted on a donkey, on a colt foal of a pack animal. The disciples went and did exactly what Jesus told them to do. They led the donkey and colt out, laid some of their clothes on them, and Jesus mounted. Nearly all the people in the crowd threw their garments down on the road, giving him a royal welcome. Others cut branches from the trees and threw them down as a welcome mat. Crowds went ahead and crowds followed, all of them calling out, Hosanna to David's son. Blessed is he who comes in God's name, Hosanna in highest heaven. As he made his entrance into Jerusalem, the whole city was shaken, unnerved. People were asking, what's going on? Who is this? The parade crowd answered, this is the prophet Jesus, the one from Nazareth in Galilee. Here's a thought of mine that goes with that. Question first. How can you tell that we are into week two of the lockdown in this country. Uh, there are many signs of this, but the main one for me is that my ER DVD box set has sold on eBay. Uh, when Emma and I got married many years ago, we loved watching the American hospital drama ER. So last year, uh, I bought the complete set of DVDs all 235 hours uh, as a birthday present for her thinking we could watch them together and rediscover our youth. Long story short, she was not interested, so on to the online auction site they went just before Christmas. For months, there's not been a sniff of interest, until the other day when somebody bought them out of the blue. Hopefully not some fella, uh, as a surprise for his wife, wanting to recreate their youth. It is hard for human beings to be in lockdown, as it's just not what God designed us for. Uh, some of you will remember that previously, on more than one occasion, I shared my views with you that God made us with three characteristics in mind. He made us to be creative, to celebrate, and to live in community. All humans are creative and curious and ponderous and nosy and like the feeling of a job well done. All humans love to celebrate and to remember and love music and some even dancing. Uh, all humans know that loneliness is a killer and that we are at our best when we are living and working in communities. He made us to create, to celebrate and to be in community. Basically, God made us party animals in the most reverent sense of the word. Proof of this is when your favourite tune comes on the radio, or Spotify if you're a youth, uh, and you find your foot starts tapping and you start singing along. Which is why when Jesus wanders into the main gates of Jerusalem 2,000 years ago on the back of a donkey, people went wild. We are told in John's Gospel that word of what he had done in raising Lazarus from the dead, which we talked about last time, had spread like wildfire. Along with that, some people had had a nose in the scriptures 
And when they saw Jesus entering the city on an animal, they put two and two together. They saw him as the next king, which he was in a way, uh, coming to save him from the Romans and oppression. They lobbed branches in front of him, hence the name Palm Sunday. Um, they threw coats on the floor like they would a king, and they started shouting, Hazana, which is basically a cheer or rally cry out to God. It acknowledges that Jesus is going to save and help and is from God. What a wonderful picture of acceptance and happiness and goodwill and cheer. Humans coming together to celebrate the arrival of the king with noise and smiles. Humans being typically human, you may say. Sadly, though, it does not last long. As we journey through this Holy Week, we will be reminded again that God's big idea is more amazing than anything we humans could plan, uh, but also more shocking than we could ever imagine either. Palm Sunday, Jesus arrives in Jerusalem to a natural human reaction. Is God on the move? Oh yes, but not in the way we would ultimately expect. Some questions for you to ponder now. And I've had some good feedback on these from last time. Uh, if you want to send me your answers for marking, happy to do that. Four questions. Number one, how do you as a person create, celebrate and fit into your community? Question number two, have you ever had the disappointment of plans changing at last minute? Number three, what have you got planned? What have you got planned? And number four, do you believe that God has got good plans for you? Can you cope with that idea? Um, also attached, uh, if you look in the description that goes with this video, um, I've got the download for this talk. Uh, and also what I've got in there is um, some activities you could have a go at, colouring and otherwise. I've also suggested a song that you might want to listen to uh, that goes with this. I've put the link uh, into the download as well. Uh, it's uh, Hosanna by Hillsong United, worth a sing-along. And uh, let's finish off now by saying a little prayer. And together, close your eyes. Dear God, Thank you for the big plan to send Jesus to teach us all about you and to go through that first Holy Week. Thank you that you know each one of us and you've got good plans for us to walk in. Amen. This week, being Holy Week, uh, I'll do another thought on Monday, Thursday, another one on Good Friday, as well as next week, Easter Sunday. So I'll see you then.